people have been with us this entire time and we have never had a problem with it. Mm -hmm. They have never done any of the vile and disgusting things that that man and his weird cronies have leaked out of their mouth. Period. At a school of a thousand kids, less than 10% of us were minorities. And there was a loud vocal minority who made it very clear that we weren't welcome. The people who looked like me did not belong in Sumner County. And, and I remember going to the library when I was a kid attending Sumner County. And there were not books of people who looked like me. There were not experiences in those books that shaped, that, that looked like what I was going through. And I remember the library being a refuge. Even though I couldn't find what I was looking for, it was a refuge for me. My daughter in elementary school, her first, her first year at school here, she comes home bawling, crying, because someone tells her that as a little black girl, she can't be what she wants to be when she grows up. Another student in her class said that. She doesn't have the choice to wait until she's in high school to experience racism. She's gonna experience it right away. And I'm thankful for the librarians and the teachers at Sumner County who were there to console her while she was at school before she could get home to me. Teachers here do an amazing job. Librarians are doing an amazing job. You do care about the emotions of these students. You can't teach a student if you don't care about them, if you don't care about their emotions, and if you're not there to support them. There has not been any fairness on behalf of the personal things I have been continuing to go through with the injustice in the public school system, with discrimination. A child that has ADHD and IEP that has been not even once rendered to protect his privacy and the rights of him as a student. A child that has been forced to be removed from the home to go into alternative school at Tar Heel Challenge because of the discrimination. Bullying is no longer of the bullying of the children on the children, but the bullying is now along with the principals, assistant principals, the resource offices, the officers that are in the school system falsified documents that are coming forth that my child could have faced two class L felony charges over assistant principal and resource officers lying to hide their hand of wickedness. A child that has been suspended from other things because of the dis emotional harassment, disability harassment, and nobody took a stand and never heard his side. A child that is going through anxiety separation as I am going through anxiety separation as a mother and my si and his siblings are missing his brother because we've never been separated. I have, I've never been sexually assaulted at a drag show, but I have been in church twice. Period. And I tell you what, the men at that church told me it was my fault. This whole scenario should have stopped at the United States of America where we have free speech, but it didn't. We're here. And it's so ironic that he also served in our military that guarantees us these freedoms, and he is here. Moved from another place to come here and tell us that a community that we love, we are related to, we are friends with, they babysit our kids, we work with them, that they're dangerous. That's mm -hmm. They haven't done anything to anyone. <clears throat> Any of my four children that I also grew inside my womb in case Pius Pippi's here, if any of them are part of this community, they will be lucky because there is not a whole lot of families that would love their child unconditionally and seek out knowledge for them to understand their minds and their bodies and the fact that they want to take that away from children that is disgusting that is child abuse it is child abuse to immediately tell your child that he is wrong for feeling like he doesn't belong it is ch conversion therapy child abuse all of that is wrong. All of you who serve up here, you don't just serve the 20% the of the people who are loud and come screaming to all of these meetings. You serve me. You serve my children. And I demand you stand up for them. Thank you. So it's time for us to come together to involve with equity and quality and with liberty and justice for all. Let's make it happen. Mm -hmm. They just want to exist, Aaron. Period. Peacefully. Leave them alone. Without your 501c3 getting involved. I love you all. Mom.